He was the type of friend we should all aim to be, and if we were, the world would be a much better place. Norman loved this community, and he showed us all how to take care of one another. He taught me and so many others how to care for our fellow man, how to relate and actively engage in the lives of others, and how to serve in a selfless manner. He did not have much of a formal education, but was undoubtedly one of the smartest and most talented people I have ever known when it came to leadership. His ability to inspire people to action seemed to be effortless, as he always spoke easily from the heart. While some emphasize that the fire service is first and foremost a place, a workplace, and should be run as a business, he would find ways to remind us all that the fire service is a family business. His ability to bring together bring people together and set aside differences and work in concert is one of the biggest reasons we have and will continue to have the combined fire and rescue department that others look to as an example of a true team effort. He and I had a lot of conversations over the past few years about the future of our department and the need to continue bringing people together for the benefit of the community. In the last meeting I had with him, he spoke of the importance of unity and how proud he was to see everyone working together in the stations and of the combined effort that went into developing the specifications for the new tower and rescue engine. <clears throat> During that Friday meeting, before he and the rest of the apparatus specification committee traveled to Wisconsin for the final inspections, he gave me a gift box and asked me, to, asked me not to open it until the following Monday morning at 9 o'clock. When I opened the gift, it contained a stocking cap embroidered with Spotsylvania Tower 1 and Rescue Engine 8. It was a great gift, but what touched me even more was the note that came with it. It read, the reason for the delayed opening is the committee will be presented these Monday morning. Notice they do not say volunteer or career. They say Spotsylvania County because these are the people we all serve. We shared the vision of developing a single patch <clears throat> that the entire department could relate to and unite under. I will commit to making that this vision of having one patch a reality as we continue to work together to fulfill our mission of helping others. He was truly one of a kind and we will miss him. But he will live with us in the stories we tell the last we enjoy together, and the way we continue to put the needs of others first, serving our community and each other, taking care of our family. While it causes us great pain and sadness to lose him, those who share Norman's faith in our Savior can have the confidence in knowing that we can look forward to seeing him again someday. So I gladly say, love you, babe. I'll see you later.